the geometric sequence a sub i is defined by the formula. And so they, say, they tell us that the ith term is going to be equal to three times negative one fourth to the i minus one power. So given that, what is a sub five, the fifth term in the sequence? So pause the video and try to figure out what is a subscript five. All right, well we can just use this formula. A, a sub five is going to be, every, is everywhere where I see an i, I replace it with a five, is going to be equal to three times negative one fourth to the five minus one power. Well that's equal to three times negative one fourth to the fourth power. Well that's going to be equal to, let's see, we're, we're raising it to an even power, so it's going to give us a positive value since we're going to be multiplying the negative an even number of times, so it's going to be a positive value. So it's going to be three times, let's see, one to the one fourth, is, uh, one to the fourth power is just one, and then four to the fourth power, let's see, four squared is 16, so four squared times four squared is four to the fourth, so it's 16 times 16 is 256. 256, and once again, I know it's going to be positive because I'm multiplying a negative times itself four times, or I'm multiplying four negatives together, so that's going to give me a positive value. So I get three over 256, and we're done. That's the fifth term in our sequence, positive three over 256.